We see two types of breast pain. Basically cyclical, which is related to a woman's menstrual cycle, and non-cyclical pain, which is more constant or it can be intermittent. The non-cyclical pain tends to be more diffuse. There are other factors too that we see, such as stress, uh, anxiety, depression can also play a role with breast pain too. So non-cyclical pain tends to go away on its own though without any type of intervention. We'll look at possibly other factors such as hormones, which would include oral contraceptives and hormone replacement therapy. Um, other things such as uh, whether they have conditions related to um, heavy cycles or possibly heavy periods. Um, this can correlate with something that we know um, in uh, breast tissue that's called fibrocystic changes, which is a thickening of your breast tissue that's caused by your hormones. So you'll see during the premenstrual time, which can vary for each woman, uh, a woman can have it for approximately two weeks prior to the period, that she'll have a thickening in her breast tissue where she feels lumpiness. That's how they'll describe it many times. And it'll be tender, there may be some swelling associated with it, and they'll feel discomfort. The woman would have to have significant, severe, debilitating pain that would interfere with her quality of life and with her activities, possibly going to work, possibly taking care of her children. Those things, if they were becoming uh, problematic, then it may be of interest to look at possibly a prescription to treat that type of pain. Now, it's important to note, Danazol has some serious, significant side effects, and one of the important things to remember is that Danazol can cause hair development or hair growth in areas that are unwanted. I think that if you're concerned about breast cancer, that you should have an evaluation, a good physical and history, of course, and uh, any diagnostic imaging, which would possibly include a mammogram or ultrasound. I think that would be an important place to start, just to make sure that there is no evidence for breast cancer. Because although it is very rare for breast pain by itself to be an indication for breast cancer, it is possible, and I have seen it.